range under 7700, 7800, 7710, 7810, 8.1 liter Pyrotex. So, a uh, couple things to watch on these. In the, in the main issue is the boat pattern on the injection pump. This is a wider boat pattern at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see in the video. But it's uh, it's like the old Soundguard uh, P-series pump versus an A-series pump as reference. Also, these have multiple, multiple mark numbers. Not always can you easily see the identification mark. <clears throat> So these, uh, we build the sealed long blocks, valve covered oil pan. They do come with injectors, but we don't install injectors until they sell. So we not make sure we put the right injectors in. Ours always come with a oil cooler. Oil cooler base, tubes, everything that way. Know, we know everything is clean. Comes with our lifting hooks. And this is the this is the smaller version. When I say smaller version, I mean by the injection pump bolt pattern. Here's a good example of where you really can't easily see the marked numbers on the on this block because it's behind that tube. So you can imagine if this was on a tractor, it'd be really hard to see. The engine serial number will give us a pretty good idea. But like I said, we just had some snafus with these where we've shipped the wrong engine or it just takes a long time with the customer trying to identify which one it is. Here we're just trying to get some tips. So um, we're not trying to make the uh, process difficult, but we also don't want to ship the wrong engine. That doesn't do anybody any good. So engine serial number along with Actually, it's just an image of it because we like to use the bottom model number. If the mark number is easily identifiable, and also you won't be able to get this because your pump will be on, but you can get an image of the tag on your injection pump that will help us identify it too. So we got a few of these in stock. We have a bit of both sizes sizes on the injection pump so if we can help you out let us know